The role of the mass airflow sensor in your vehicle's electronic fuel injection system is to determine the precise amount of air entering the engine. If the MAF sensor malfunctions, it can result in the engine running either too rich or too lean, and both conditions present their own symptoms. Some of those include black smoke emitting from the tailpipes, rough running engine, poor performance, or backfiring, and you will notice a higher fuel consumption. Hey there! I hope you're all doing fantastic, and hopefully this video gives you the valuable insights you're looking for. Let's dive right in. The MAF sensors are usually positioned between the air filter and the throttle body, where they measure the volume of air that flows into the engine. The majority of vehicles use a hot wire MAF sensor. This type of sensor comprises a heated wire and an ambient temperature wire. Within the MAF sensor, a microprocessor maintains a temperature of the hot wire around 200 gap higher than the temperature of the incoming air and ambient temperature wire. By calculating the energy required to maintain this temperature differential, the MAF sensor communicates the information to the powertrain control module, PCM, subsequently, the PCM, subsequently, the PSCM, regulates the injectors to deliver a precise amount of fuel that corresponds to the airflow creating an air-fuel mixture that ideally suits the engine's requirements at any given moment. To ensure your vehicle runs smoothly, it relies on the right balance of fuel and air going into cylinders. When there's too much fuel compared to the amount of air entering the cylinders, we call it running rich. This can occur if the MAF sensor gets damaged or if its wires get dirty and coated. When that happens, the MAF sensor can't accurately measure the airflow, which means it sends incorrect information to the PCM. Powertrain Control Module The PCM, thinking there's more air coming in, releases too much fuel into the cylinders. Luckily, in many cases, you can fix the problem by simply cleaning the wires of the MAF sensors. But if you happen to notice the check engine light coming on, it probably means the MAF sensor is faulty. Running lean is the opposite of running rich, as it indicates a situation where your vehicle has insufficient fuel and an excess of air. Similarly to running rich, running lean occurs when the MAF sensor provides incorrect information to the pesky air, but this time it underestimates the airflow. While running lean might temporarily enhance your fuel efficiency, it can pose serious risks to your engine if prolonged. Cleaning the MAF wires might help in this case too, so it's worth a shot. Difficulty starting the engine. If the MAF sensor is malfunctioning, it can cause problems with the air-fuel mixture, leading to difficulty starting the engine especially on cold mornings. Hesitation or stumbling. You might notice hesitation or stumbling during acceleration, as if the engine is not receiving the proper air-fuel mixture. Black smoke or excessive emissions. An improperly functioning MAF sensor can cause the engine to run rich, leading to black smoke from the exhaust or high emissions. Reduced fuel efficiency. A malfunctioning MAF sensor can disrupt the air to fuel ratio causing increased fuel consumption and decreased fuel efficiency. Rough idling or stalling. The engine may idle roughly or even stall when at a stop or during low speed maneuvers. Poor engine performance. You may experience a decrease in engine power, sluggish acceleration, or a lack of responsiveness when pressing the gas pedal. Check engine light. A failing MAF sensor often triggers the check engine light on the dashboard, but the check engine light will only come on if the MAF sensor voltage is out of range. However, it's important to note that the MAF sensor can still send false or inaccurate information to the engine control unit, even if its voltage is within the acceptable range. And when that happens, the check engine light will not come on and you won't have any fault codes directly associated with the MAF sensor. The approximate cost for a new mass airflow sensor is around $100 on average. When buying a mass airflow sensor, you can choose between an original manufacturer part or an aftermarket alternative the aftermarket option will be around 20 to 30% cheaper. And keep in mind that an aftermarket MAF sensor can be just as good or even superior to the original, but make sure it's a reputable brand. When it comes to the labor price, it typically includes a diagnostic charge and the actual cost of the repair. That will come to around one hour of labor or $100 on average. As for the replacement itself, it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes. So if we exclude diagnostic costs, the labor should be a symbolic $30 to $50. Cleaning a MAF sensor can be a helpful step in resolving issues before considering a replacement. It involves removing the sensor spraying contact cleaner spray or carpenter cleaner on the hot wire and allowing it to dry before reinstalling. While not always a guaranteed fix, 
It's a cost-effective option, and it's not time-consuming making it worth trying. You will find a detailed step-by-step -step guide in the video description. Cleaning the MAF sensor is a simple process that can potentially improve performance and resolve symptoms related to a dirty or faulty sensor.